What's up my peeps, my name is Sen. And my name is Koto, and this is the top 10 things that you need to know about the game Survive the Night. Well, what you're thinking first is, oh, another zombie game? Come on now, we've had like 20 in the last year. Well, yeah, I know, but hear us out on this game, because this game is much more unique and uh, has a lot more features that are much more interesting compared to the other zombie games. So let's just throw that out of the way. You got anything, Kote, you wanna? Let's just dive into it. Dive right into it. Right, Ready. okay, so top 10. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's do roll. This. roll! Number one, customizable. <laughs> the game is extremely diverse <laughs> in what you can customize and manipulate. For example, powering a generator to have control of all your appliances, including lights and even an indoor farm. Ooh. Number two, zombies. The zombies avoid exposure to sunlight, so they can that you can be found in hidden places in dark corners of the game. So, so be wary, survivors. <laughs> Avoid dark alleyways or poorly lit houses. Also, zombies have physics, so you can blow them up and just have fun doing it. Number three. Fortification. You can't stop. It's like the same effect over and over again. Change the effect. Right, fortification is a massive part of the game from using boards from old fences to light your fires or fortify your windows. You can also use corrugated metal on RVs to make it a rolling death machine or, a, you know, a lovely house. A lovely house. A lovely number house. Four. Number four, number traps. Four? Bloody, the game has blooming traps, Koto. Does it Look have traps? It, it does have traps. <laughs> so allowing you to make improvised shotguns as traps to blast the enemies away, or simply make an alarm, like um, like you got a horn. Oh, so right. uh, yeah, it alerts you when zombies are coming by. Uh, you also have like fire traps, explosive traps. The traps are very strategical and they help with surviving in the night, which is very good. Number yeah. five, immersion. <laughs> Come right. running out <laughs> of the <effects. laughs> Immersion is really important because I mean, a lot of the time me and Sen actually, little mini story off here when we used to play skyrim we used to open our windows so the cold would hit us yeah so do you remember that that's yeah. very sad admit it is yeah but you know they know now they know us we're sad <laughs> alone anyway immersion oh, immersion's obviously a massive factor in games uh on this pvp is going to be toned down a bit by implementing mental health so you could potentially have a mental breakdown if you know you go on a rampage killing zombies and just killing people mm. uh grouping Which together you wouldn't. Well, you would. Well, Daisy, you do, but this game, you don't. That's the thing. So grouping's really important, and it's probably the best way to go. Uh, also, you can have text-based chats. Not really, you know, uh, special in any way. You get that in Daisy um, for people without mics. But also in the game, something that Daisy thought was going to have but didn't. Do you remember in Daisy you got them radios, the two-way yeah. radios? Well, in this, you can actually use them, and you can use like the big. The, the big CB radio to communicate with your friends so you can give them one and you can have yeah. one and you can talk via that way. That is massive and awesome. Number six, vehicles. Ah, yes. All vehicles are potentially usable. Every single one of them that you find in the game. However, you have to they have to be repaired or modified in order to run. So all vehicles will have to use fuel, you know, like a standard vehicle. Um, and each unique vehicle no, will... my vehicles run on cheese and onion crisps! <laughs> well, I just thought I'd throw it out there. And, but each unique vehicle has like a certain part that needs to be required in order for it to work. Got a Honda, need a Honda part. <laughs> well, I don't think it's that deep. <laughs> Number seven, multiplayer. Now, on multiplayer, you can obviously you can customize your character uniquely. Also, KOS Kill on site. Uh, has been focused on to prevent the mistake Daisy made. You can own structures and lock containers to keep all your spoils safe. Also, banding together is probably wise since the chances of survival are well. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. They're kind of slim. They're very slim. Uh, very slim. Yeah. Which is the whole point of the game. The name of the game is Survive the Night. So come yeah. on now, people. Yeah. Survive a couple of nights, maybe. But <laughs> so that should be the Wouldn't name. be as catchy, would it? Survive a couple of nights. <laughs> Eight. Day and night cycles. Your daylight should be used carefully. Very carefully. 
um, use it to collect food and water especially, such as gathering materials also to board up your house at night. If you want to start your generators, activate the surrounding traps, and most importantly, murder anything that moves, really. Couldn't have said it better myself. Just just kill everything. Everything. Number nine. Even Calories. your Calories. And food. <laughs> Intake. <laughs> Calorie and food intake is obviously important. Now, you probably didn't think it was important because you don't really need to do it on most games, but you do in this. You need to eat. You can do this by catching rats with little catching rats with little traps or uh, finding preserved goods or foraging for berries or wildlife. Uh, you have to keep an eye on your calories uh, to help your fitness in levelling up. Yeah, also there's a overall fitness or overall health bar, so you've got to look after that as well. Mm, mm. Number 10, maintaining your body temperature? Yeah, it's a very strange one, but it definitely has to be taken note of. It's, it is surprisingly important. If need be, you'll have to start campfires in the wild, <laughs> power your home with heating systems, or find shelter to recover your health. Also, make sure your character is in good state, because cuts and scrapes, they can be more of a problem later down the line. Bloody hell, it was a journey, Sam. Yeah. Stand back, mate. That was a journey. <laughs> right, so that's all you need to know. That's probably the most important things you need to know about this game. So, yep. uh, definitely looking forward to it when it comes out. The Very game should so. come out for al Alpha Access around February the 2015 year. The 2015 year? Who says that? The anyway. 2015 year. <laughs> yeah, but that that's it. Yeah. So, we look yep. forward to that game. It's coming up very soon. Uh, links are in the description for everything you need to know. I've been Sen. I've uh, I've been Koto. Is this how we're doing we, this now? We've never done that before, but we're doing it now. Peace out, homebred in a biscuit tin. Can you survive the night? Oh, yeah.